But really, my final word here is love. We need it. God, do we need it or not? We need it, and I don't, you know, I just don't. We need a gun that shoots it. We need a gun that shoots love. If I was God, if I was God, I would just ever, it would, it would just be a big party over there. If I could make Israel a big party, if I could get every American corporation to just go into the Gaza Strip and just make it into a big mall so that they could enjoy it. Everybody could work at a Lowe's, be divorced, you know? Because that's the best, the best reality in America is just to work at a Lowe's and be divorced <laughs> and have a kid that doesn't hate you. I mean, if sh sure, people do better than that here. But on average, on average, the best you can do in our country is to work in a Lowe's that is located in an outlet mall 45 minutes from your house and have a daughter that doesn't absolutely hate you. And you got a few nice friends at the Lowe's. You got a few nice friends. And you, you don't see each other that much out of work. You did one time, but it was kind of weird. <laughs> you got a few of the guys together and you went to a restaurant called Yard House. Google it. I'm not doing that whole thing again. <laughs> But you went to Yard House and you got chicken nachos, and it was fun enough. It was fun enough. And you kind of see a woman who you think might be seeing someone else. She said she'll never live with anyone else again and never get remarried. She put the boundaries up immediately, which you thought was a little harsh up front, but you kind of like it now. She's a little cold and stares off. She smokes a lot and says she has no plans on stopping. That is the best you're going to do in this country, on average, for the most part, you work at a Lowe's and you're divorced. You date a woman who's a smoker and has no plans on stopping. And she says, I like waking up alone. Your daughter doesn't completely hate you. She pities you, which you think might be a little worse. But you're not bleeding out in the Gaza Strip. And that's the promise that we can make is if you get it together out there, you nuts, if you get it together, relax with the religion on both sides. Relax with all the weaponry. Relax with the killing. If you're lucky, one day you will be driving alone 45 minutes to work in a Lowe's. Your daughter will call you. She will say, I'm going away for the weekend, but I'll call you when I get back. I really miss you. I love you, Dad. You will say, thank you, honey. You will put your phone down. That smoker, that woman you're dating, will also call you. She'll say, I'm around tonight. That's as romantic as she gets. And you'll put your phone down. And you'll think to yourself, you know what? It's not that bad. And you'll never see the teenage driver coming. You'll never <laughs> see the teenage driver coming. You'll smile thinking about your daughter and the somewhat mediocre sex you'll have with that whore later on. You'll never see that teenage driver coming. You'll hear the smack and you'll feel the glass. <laughs> And a few of those shards of glass will get into your smile. But you went out nice. You went out good. And they'll wonder where you are tonight at Lowe's, but they won't call you. They won't call you. Your phone won't ring. And you knew they wouldn't call you. As you lay there dying, you go, they won't call. They'll just think it's one of those nights. That's the American win. So if you get your fucking act together... Out there in the desert, you could have that.